The iLogic Copy Design Tool is a quick and easy way to make copies of your inventor parts or assemblies. Now, this tool is often overlooked by many inventor users for two reasons. First reason being its name. It includes the word iLogic, but don't let that concern you if you don't use iLogic. The only reason that name is in the title is because it allows you to automatically delete the iLogic rules out of a model during the copy process. Also, another reason it gets overlooked or it's just practical or maybe unknown by a lot of users is the fact that it doesn't show up in your ribbon unless you've got every document closed. You can see I got a couple documents open down here. If I hop, hop over to the tools tab, which is where I would find uh, the iLogic copy design tool, I see nothing here. No iLogic copy design tool, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of my open documents over to tools, and there it is. iLogic design copy. So this only comes up when you've got all of your documents closed. And to start the process, I just hit iLogic Design Copy. And I come in here, I can choose um, drawings if I have drawings. I can choose assemblies, parts, or non-inventor files to copy along with my design. And if I go over here and select an assembly, if I look over here in the parts section, you'll see it automatically selects all the referenced parts. So I don't have to go through and, and specify what all I want to bring. It looks at the assembly, grabs its references, and I'm good to go. So then I can hit Next. And here it's telling me, this is where I can specify where I want to save it. So maybe I'll browse and create another folder in this subfolder here. Let me make a new folder. Copy design. Okay. And then I can also add a prefix or a suffix to the file name. A lot of times... Uh, uh, organizations will have a naming convention. Maybe they'll put a job number before the actual part name or something like that. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be job number 101 underscore. And you can see it's adding in, if I look up here at the target column, it's adding in that 101 underscore to all of my parts. I could put a suffix if I want. And also I can check this to have it also apply that renaming to non-inventor files if I'm bringing over any Excel or Word documents or something like that. And then also down here, copy options, you see, this is what I was talking about when I was referring to deleting the iLogic rules. If you want to omit those rules from the new copy that's being made with this tool, uh, maybe so the end, an end user can't access those rules and modify the assembly or parts or whatever, you can check that and all those rules will be wiped clean from the new copy. Of course, they'll still be in the master, the one that you're copying from. And you can also specify that you want it to update the part number to be the same as the file name. Once I've filled this all out uh, to my liking, I hit start. Give it a moment to run through. It's processing. And then once it's finished, design copy finished successfully, I hit close. And you see it opens up the folder where all this was copied to. Open up my new assembly, and there you go. Got a fresh new assembly copied over with the iLogic copy design tool.